Okay. So, a while back, I, or recently, I watched a video on the Black Pen Red Pen channel where the host uh, integrated cube root of tangent x. Uh, and that gave this expression uh, in, you know, that I'm going to differentiate here. Uh, this will tell us if he had the right answer. Spoiler alert, he does. Uh, but it's, and this problem here is actually uh, more of an algebraic mess than it is a problem for the calculus side of it. Anyway, uh, as you can see, uh, we'll just go ahead and differentiate here. Uh, and as you can see, there are uh, three different terms here, and they're all complex. We're going to have to re apply the chain rule a couple of times in each one. Uh, and this is going to give an absolutely dreadful expression. But let's start out. So the first term, we keep the minus one half, and then the derivative of natural log, that's ln, uh, is 1 over the thing inside, so that's tangent 2 thirds x plus 1, and that's uh, now because we have a function inside, we have to differentiate the function, so now we need the derivative of tangent 2 thirds x, so that's 2 thirds times 1 over tangent 1 third x. You may notice I'm writing one-third instead of cube root. I'm doing that just for consistency. Uh, anyway, again, this is a complex function. So now we have to apply the chain rule again, and we get secant squared x for the derivative of tangent. Okay, that's our first term. Now, uh, well, we can obviously simplify that, but I'll go through and complete the uh, derivatives here. Uh, so now our next term, we keep the 1 quarter, and again we have natural log, so we have 1 over and then that business inside, tangent 4 thirds x minus tangent 2 thirds x plus 1. Now we have to differentiate the inside. Now we're going to have two terms as a result, so we're going to need parentheses here. Uh, now we have to differentiate fourth, a tangent of the four thirds, so that's going to be four over three times tangent one third x, again times secant squared x, plus the net, or pardon me, minus, because we have a minus in there. Uh, minus, and again, well, I'll just do this, so it's going to be 2 thirds, and then the tangent, uh, 1 third x, when we subtract 1, it's going to be minus 1 thirds, so that's on the bottom, tangent 1 third x, and again, we have secant squared x for the derivative of tangent. And we'll go ahead and do the third term. As you can see, this is an absolutely dreadful mess. Uh, so we'll now, uh, again, the root 3 over 2 stays. And the derivative arctangent is 1 over 1 plus and then the argument of arctangent squared. So that's going to give us, uh, we're going to have 2 tangent 2 thirds x minus 1 over root 3 and that's all going to be squared plus 1 and that's all under 1. Uh, and now we have to differentiate this thing on the inside. So this is really two terms over root 3. We can ignore the constant minus 1. So now we're going to keep the 2 over root 3 and we're going to uh, 
Um, we're going to multiply that uh, by the derivative of the tangent to, to the two-thirds, which is two-thirds. And then it's one over tangent one-third x, as we previously noted. And then we have to, again, multiply that by secant squared x. Now this is an absolute dreadful mess, but as you can see, we can simplify things quite a lot. So the first thing we'll note is that uh, we've got some stuff that cancels out here. So let's uh, simplify. So we have minus 1, the 2 and the 2 here cancel out, minus 1 times secant squared x. So we have minus secant squared x on the top for the first term. And that's going to be over, uh, we've got a 3, 3. Okay, i got to move this work surface up here. There we go. And make sure I keep it in frame. So we get 3. And then we have a tangent 1 3rd x on the bottom. So I'll bring that forward. Tangent 1 3rd x. And we have to multiply it by this business here. So we have tangent 2 thirds x plus 1. Okay, that's that first term. Then we add. Now, this is a huge mess, and it doesn't really simplify nicely, uh, at least not in one step. Uh, but let's combine it into one huge fraction first. But while we're doing that, let's actually get a common denominator in this business here. Uh, if we do that, then we can do the addition. Uh, or rather the subtraction and th and that will mean we'll have 3 times tangent 1 3rd x on the bottom and then that means when we divide by this business here it all becomes one denominator okay so let's work on the numerator here to get a common denominator here we need to multiply the first term by tangent 1 3rd x over tangent 1 3rd x that's going to give us tangent 2 thirds x on the top and everything else the same. So that means we're going to have 4 times tangent 2 thirds x times secant squared x and then from the other part minus 2 times secant squared x and that's going to be over and now we're going to have uh, 3 tangent to the one third x from the top fraction, 3 times tangent one third x, and that's going to have to multiply by all of this business here. Remember, this is simply a division, uh, so it's dividing this business by this business, so that means we just multiply by, by the reciprocal here, and it'll just join the 3 times tangent one third x on the bottom of one fraction. So that's 4 times tangent 4 thirds x minus tangent 2 thirds x plus 1. And get the right number of parentheses there. Now, the third term. The root 3 over 2 and the 2 over root 3 cancel. And that leaves us with secant squared, a uh, 2 and secant squared x on the top. 2 times secant squared x over. Now, we've got a 3 and uh, what else have we got here? This business and tangent 1 third x. So we'll bring the 3 times tangent 1 third x to the start, and then we'll multiply that by 
Now this business here, uh, we have, I'll put the one plus here. Uh, and then we've got uh, square root of three, which is gonna be squared on the, in the denominator, which will just be three. So that's one third times and now we're going to have to square 2 times tangent 2 thirds x minus 1, but I won't do that just yet. Times tangent 2 thirds x minus 1 squared. Now, you may have noticed something here. We've got, we can factor a secant squared x out of the, the numerator of the second term, and we've got secant squared x on the top in the other two terms. And we've got three times tangent one third x on the bottom of all three terms. So let's factor those out so we can do some additional calculations a little more sanely here. So that means we're going to have secant squared x over three times tangent one third x times minus one over, and now we've just left with this, so tangent two thirds x plus one, right? Plus the secant squareds go away here, so four times tangent two-thirds x minus two over, and then this business left over here, four, and I'm gonna distribute the four while I'm doing this. Uh, and uh, that will, uh, uh, no, I'm not. Uh, pardon me, I'm not. Uh, I'm getting ahead of myself there. So 4 times uh, that complex business, tangent 4 thirds x minus tangent 2 thirds x plus 1. And then we're going to add that with 2 over... Now, I'm going to actually do the squaring there. So, uh, to square this, so we're going to have one third, okay, we're going to have one plus one third of, and squaring the first term, four times tangent four thirds x, right? So four times tangent four thirds x. Now we've got a negative second term, but so by the, uh, by the, uh, the, you know, when you foil it out and all of that, you get you'll get minus two times tangent two thirds x minus two times uh, tangent two third x, right? So that's gonna be minus four times tangent two thirds x, and then we're gonna get plus one. Now, it may be obvious or it may not, but this denominator actually is the same as this denominator, roughly speaking. So, you know, with a little bit of tweaking. So, because uh, you may recognize this business in here. Now, what we're going to do is distribute the one third through here. So we can get everything uh, cleaned up. Uh, I'm just going to make sure I haven't made an error getting to this point. I haven't.
Right. Right. Okay, yeah. That's it. so I'm not going to just you know, I'm not going to copy these two terms out uh, for this this working out here. So, we have on the bottom so this one will be 2 still over 1 plus 4 over 3 tangent 4 thirds x minus 4 over 3 tangent 2 thirds x plus 1 over 3. And if you combine the 1, you get a 4 thirds. Uh, so that means we can factor out a 4 thirds here. So that's 4 thirds times tangent 4 thirds x minus tangent 2 thirds x plus 1. And now this 3 here just goes up on the denominator on, on the numerator and becomes 6. And, and then you can see that we've got a common denominator between the uh, second term and the third term. So let's roll our, uh, our uh, work up here. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, so let's uh, just for clarity copy out the uh, first bit here again. So this is all uh, secant. All right, we have a big paren parenthesis on the end here. So secant squared x over three tangent to the one third x times minus one over tangent two thirds x plus one plus uh, four tangent two thirds x minus two over and then this business here tangent four thirds x minus tangent two thirds x plus one plus and then this three goes on numerator multiplies six over four times tangent four thirds x minus tangent two thirds x plus one. Now as you can see that means these two terms we can do the addition. Oops. And you can see this starting to simplify now. So this becomes secant squared x over 3 times tangent 1 third x times minus 1 over tangent 2 thirds x plus 1 plus 4 times tangent 2 thirds x minus 2 plus 6 is plus 4. You can see where this is going. Over 4 times tangent 4 thirds x minus tangent 2 thirds x plus 1. Now you can see we can cancel the 4's out there and that gives us so that gives us secant squared x over 3 times tangent to the 1 third x times minus 1 over tangent 2 thirds x plus 1 plus tangent 2 thirds x plus 1 over 
and then that business tangent four thirds x minus tangent two thirds x plus one. Now we have to do this addition that's left. To do that, we need a common denominator. We can get that by multiplying. Uh, we can multiply this one by this business on the top and bottom, and this one by this business on the top and bottom. So that's going to give us secant squared x over 3 times tangent 1 third x times, so the top times this, so it's minus, and I'll distribute the negative here, tangent 4 thirds x plus tangent 2 thirds x minus 1. And that's going to add with and you know that tangent 2 thirds x plus 1, I'm going to have to multiply the top and bottom on this side by this thing. And that's going to just square this, right? You can see that's going to square it. So tangent, so we'll just square it here. Tangent 2 thirds x times tangent 2 thirds x is tangent 4 thirds x. And then plus 2 times tangent two-thirds x plus one, okay? And that's all going to be over, uh, and we, we need to distribute this out. Uh, so, so we'll multiply we'll, we'll each term by each other term. So tangent two-thirds x times Tangent 4 thirds x is tangent 6 thirds x, or tangent squared x. Then we have tangent 2 thirds x times minus tangent 2 thirds x is going to be minus tangent 4 thirds x. And then tangent 2 thirds x plus 1. So that's going to be plus tangent two-thirds x. Now, as, and we're going to multiply this thing by one, so that's just going to get us plus tangent four-thirds x minus tangent two-thirds x plus one. Okay, now you probably notice some useful things going on here. Uh, you, you'll note that we have a minus tangent 4 thirds x and a plus tangent 4 thirds x here. So those cancel. And we have a tangent 2 thirds x and a plus two tangent two thirds x, that's gonna combine into three times tangent two thirds x. And that'll be good later, but we also have a minus one and a plus one. So those cancel. Now, if we take a look here, we have tangent squared x, we don't have any other tangents, uh, any other of those. We got minus tangent four thirds x plus tangent four thirds x, that cancels. And we have tangent two thirds x minus tangent two thirds x, that cancels. So this gives us secant squared x over 3 times tangent 1 third x times, and now we've got tangent 2 thirds plus 2 tangent 2 thirds, so that's times 3 times tangent 2 thirds x over tangent squared x plus 1. Now, 
you should be able to see where this is going. Because note that secant squared x is equal to tangent squared x plus 1. That's an identity, right? So that means this is secant squared x, and this is secant squared x. They cancel, right? And the threes cancel. But anyway, I'll just uh, write this out. Secant squared x. We got, and I'll bring the three in front times tangent two thirds x over three times, and then this is going to be secant squared x. I'll bring that to the front times tangent the one third x. And that, the secant squared x is canceled, the threes cancel, that gives us tangent two thirds x over tangent one third x, right? Now, if you divide tangent two thirds x by tangent one third x, you get tangent one third x, which can also be written as the cube root of tangent x. And there you have it. There is the answer. So as you can see, this one is really just a ginormous algebra problem. Uh, and you have to, of course, be careful when you're doing all of this business so that you don't end up with a uh, error in signs. Uh, uh, you know, as, as you uh, go back through here, you know, it's, it's quite complicated. Uh, anyway, we have here the answer. Uh, now, this is, uh, I, I understand why the black pen, red pen guy didn't want to do the video on doing, checking his answer on the integration through the uh, differentiation. As you can see, it's quite a long process and uh, it takes up a lot of space. Uh, but as you can see, with a little bit of dedication, you can get through even some fairly complicated things. And, and it, is this, this just goes to show you, you can get an absolutely ugly expression that doesn't look like it means anything, do a whole bunch of algebra and come out with a simple uh, a simple thing that you can just write down in reasonable space. So the cube root of tangent x, for instance. Anyway, uh, that's all for this one. Uh, there's really not much more to say. I worked through the calculation. Now I'm, I'm thinking of doing uh, a whole bunch more of these type videos, like a whole, whole maybe a separate uh, sequence to my uh, uh, commentary videos. Uh, maybe call it Lost Wizard Does the Working Out or something like that. Um, yeah, so if anyone who happens to watch this has an idea for something you want me to try and uh, work out, uh, please make sure it has an answer if possible. Uh, and please make sure it doesn't require three PhDs in mathematics. Um, I'm happy to try working out uh, things like this. Uh, just, you know, and, and see what comes out of it. Uh, so if you're watching this and you have some idea of something you want me to work out or fail at working out or whatever, uh, leave a comment uh, in, on the video. Uh, if you... Uh, want to be notified of future videos, including more of these working out things, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. And, you know, uh, if you like the video, give it a like. If you didn't like the video, give it a dislike. Uh, it's not going to hurt my feelings one way or the other. Uh, but it will give me some idea what people like and dislike. Well, go figure. That's kind of what that's for, isn't it? And if you've watched this far, thanks for watching.